So hi, I'm Mimi from Bravo Co-op and today I'm here to talk to you about Immuno. I'm going to show you how to use it with a nebulizer and how to get it out of the bottle. So this is the outside case. This is a, a bottle that has been used already. So always shake the bottle. Um, and you'll see it has a membrane. This is uh, rubber. So what we're gonna do is put it down here on the table and we're gonna use a new syringe every time we enter the bottle in order to keep it sterile. If you keep the bottle sterile, the product will stay longer. One of the things that I do is I make sure this thing is tight. This little, um, it's like a, a top to a bottle that goes inside. So you have to put it in and you have to tighten it up and they're rarely tightened. So we have a needle, we have a membrane. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert the needle into the membrane and then I'm gonna tip it to the side until the needle touches the bottom of the jar because this needle is not gonna get to the absolute bottom of the jar. So you just need a little tiny bit. So I take the needle and I point it towards the bottom jar and then I pull the plunger. So what I'm actually doing here is just pulling this up and it will fight you because it's it uh, doesn't have a whole lot of gravity in there. It'll it, it sucks it up but then it wants to, to push it back out instead of pulling it out. It's an air suction thing. So that's how you get it into the needle. And this is how you, in, you actually use it. So this thing has a cup and it has some guides and you put this thing in the guide and then you twist it. But it also has this and this pushes the air down over that little cone that's inside. So this thing has to go on top of that cone first and then you find your guides and then you twist it. So that's how that thing works. You'll see it says maximum fill over here. We don't have that kind of medicine. People ask me, do I, do I put saline in it? I don't. I wanna go right for this stuff. So I count my drops from my syringe right in. One, two, three, four, five. That's what I'm gonna be using today. Now I'm gonna put my top on it. And I'm leery of that syringe losing product. So we have to move right away. There's only a little bit of product. There's a top here that you can set it down if you need to. And there's a hose. The hose goes right out of this little compressor. It's kind of like one of those little fish bubblers. So that hose goes there. This hose goes up into there. And the key now is to turn it on when I breathe in. So when I'm ready to breathe in, I turn it on. And then when I'm full of breath, I turn it off. And then I hold my breath until I can sense that there's a transfer in the lungs and in the sinuses. So you wanna consciously breathe into your sinuses as well as your lungs. Then, when I'm um, done with holding my breath, I breathe normally for a while, and then I take another breath by turning on the machine, inhaling some of the immuno, holding my breath, and then expelling it. I would say five drops, I've got maybe three breaths on that cycle before it's gone. So here we go. I'm turning the machine on. And as soon as we do, I'm gonna breathe. Now this is a mouthpiece. I have tape over it so that I want all the air forced out. And I'm gonna use this on my nose because I don't wanna take it in my mouth because I don't wanna miss my nose and getting it all in the sinuses to expose it to the brain and the cortices. So here we go.
This is when you're supposed to listen to Jethro Dull. Okay, that was my exhale. Now I'm gonna just hang out for a breath or two. And it feels so good. All right. Ready? I'm turning it on. Now, before I had it like this and then I quick tipped it back up to breathe into it because I find that it has to be kind of in the bottom of the cup. I can breathe in. I just don't breathe out as much as I, you know, a little, like little tiny breaths at the top. And then I learned in yoga also take little tiny breaths at the bottom. What the breath does is it scans the body besides being able to get it all the way into the lungs. All right, so I'm gonna do one more before I check it. definitely gone. There's nothing in here. It's not even moist. So I wipe that out and get it ready for the next time. And this, if you uh, make your own suppositories or anything like that, you can use this um, little drop in the vial to put it into a suppository. You can be ready for that. Or if it's a brand new syringe, I will put it back here if it's my own jar. I don't do that with others. And you, you can see it, it's bubbling around in there. So most of the time I will, do you want, you want me to put some in here for you? Mm -hmm. All right. It's a, it's a, a pressure thing. It, it has to have somewhere for it to go. So this is empty now and everything is good. I'm still not gonna trust it because I wanna get every little morsel that I can. So if there's any little moisture, I'll put it on here. And then I absolutely throw this away. When you first get the, the jar, there is a tiny top on it. It looks like that. And it sits over this thing. I can't necessarily put it back on. Maybe there's a machine somewhere that does that, but. So don't try to stick your needle through the, this thing until it comes off. You just pop it off like a bottle cap. All right, well, that is how to administrate immuno with a syringe and a jar and how to use a nebulizer. Thank you.